Hey guys, Cole here. Welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Right, I've got, I've been playing this account for more than three years, right? I've got more than 300 level 60 champions, six stars, not level 60, six stars because of all the champion training and stuff. But which champions should you be making dupes of? So duplicate copies, getting them to level 60, ascending them, giving them masteries, which ones are really worth it? Because it is a big investment, even if, um, you, well, especially when you're not a spender, even if you don't really care too much about the end game features of the uh, of of what the game can offer, you, you should still, I would say, consider getting some of these champions to level 60 with masteries because they will help you with various parts uh, of the game. I will be excluding, though, from this video, a big part of what dupes help with, and that's arena because the game here, it's very, very restricting in how we gear champions, okay? Um, why I say this, because in other games like that I would play like RPG games, an example of that is maybe World of Warcraft where you would have like an armory page where you just do a single click and you would completely change your gear with a single click. And um, I can't remember if it, if it would change the other parts of your skills and all that, but still that was like a part of the game. We don't have that in this game. So what we, go for in arena is sometimes we make it a second champion and a duplicate and that is for the sole purpose of equipping the one with let's say the immunity set okay and one with a speed set and for the sole purpose of arena and that is not really a good um you know a good guide for newer players out there okay i should have two arbiters no you shouldn't really have two arbiters unless arena is in your mind end game arena pushing for platinum or just pushing for gold five honestly anything like that you'll see different combos where you'll need to be thinking okay i need to have two of but let's get this video started which champions are really worth it no questions asked to get them as duplicates and level them up and we'll start out with the uncommons okay because there's one uncommon and you guys know which one i'm gonna say it's of course my boy armager who is definitely worth the duplicate okay the reason that i'm saying this is there will be various points in this game where you will need him and this is a great example of utilizing the strong kit that a champion like armager has and uh, uh, using him in different parts of the game you will need one in a relentless set you will need one in a destroy set it's going to help you with the scarab boss for the doom tower it's going to make your life easier assuming you don't have any of the other more well suited uh, champions for that specific encounter armager will help you do that he'll keep the terminator low for the boss and help you control that boss and eventually take it down the destroy set on one of them will be making the difference for now the the two that i have right now uh, are built with relentless i built them very specifically for i was trying out a, a strategy for the dark fate boss wasn't really working but still he is so so good and so easy to get and skill up that it, it really makes no you know um you know damage to your account giving him co extra copies of armature to get his skills up the masteries i would say are worth it at least for the one of them two of them you can consider the second one as no masteries are needed but for me i did go for them so i can get that extra little bit of damage that's that's my first one that i want to showcase then we go over to the rares there's no other uncommon that i would say you need two copies of and you know me i have a lot of uncommon champions um they're in my vault right now but those are mostly for videos and haven't really used them for anything else since then and no and see no reason to get copies of right there's no common champions that are even worth getting to 60 realistically they will ne make no difference to your account unless you're trying to make something funny and post a video right like i do and um, going on to the rares look at this i've got three cold hearts you don't need three cold hearts i would say you need two of them no questions asked with masteries they will be for sure used spider um Fire Knight you can even use them in the other two dungeons, Dragon and Ice Golem, but not really recommended, especially for Ice Golem. There's other strategies, but Spider, Fire Knight, you'll for sure find a use for two. There used to be a, a team with four Cold Hearts, but you don't need them. You can use them instead of Armager for the, uh, the Scarab, 
okay she doesn't have as consistent term meter reduction she has like a big uh term meter reduction with her a3 skill and that's pretty much it i've got my one cold heart with relentless set i've got my one uh, my other cold heart with speed extra speed so she's kind of fast to 30 speed and i've got my other cold heart with a lot of damage but much lower speed so there's different strategies that you can use the cold hearts for and they are amazing two of them can definitely be be used in the dark fey boss as well many many strategies exist out there that will be requiring um cold heart she won't be used in the clan boss though she won't be used in the hydra she won't be used in arena or 3v3 arena okay have that in mind but still definitely worth the duplicates and by the way i'm, I'm showcasing all my duplicate champions and i even had a list somewhere here where i was writing every single one specifically for this video and then i was like I might as well just show all the champions that I have because I don't think there's other champions that are really worth it as much as these to get a second one of and get them to 60, okay? Vogoth is another example of a champion you can use two of, one with a deflection, one with a guardian, or region set or immortal sets. These two are godly for the one and only Bomo boss. They are so annoying. Um, the Bomo boss is so annoying that you kind of need this this guy right here times two for his uh, very specific healing passive which doesn't even need books all his skills don't need books you can book them if you're like me and you need points for the cvc but you don't need to don't really even need to get masteries they do help but they it's an additional investment you just need to have them at 60 with good gear to help you out with the bomo and it, you can actually just realize how important he is if you just go to the bomo boss and, and check the best teams and you will see um, you will see the global rankings of teams with Vogoths in there and some of them will have a second Vogoth look at this second Vogoth it's just a pure example of why you need a second one and it's the one that I did have also for my own team for for Bomo and it helps you just pass through that stage with not so much of a headache the next one in the list as we go up here my champion list is going to be royal guard i actually have three royal guards you don't need three i would say that two are used especially for the hydra there's other pieces of content within the game where you can use them let's say the spider you can still use two royal guards compared to just needing them for for the hydra but royal guards are so so important that it definitely becomes game changing once you um, have two of them and build them specifically for the encounter that you want. I have them built for uh, the Hydra and then I have one built specifically for my Fire Knight team. That's why I have three. I used to have two for the Hydras, one for my Fire Knight team. Now that I've got Acrisia though, um, I, I will be, I don't know, considering not using one of them because I, I, I'll need to think of what what am I going to do with, uh, with the extra Royal Guard. But still, two are definitely needed it, it really helps ramp up the damage uh by the way i skipped one of the rare champions i was gonna say pain keeper i don't have a copy of her and once i get a copy i will be using them and this is very specifically for the uh iron twins her decreased cooldown skill doesn't um, matter if you've got multiple copies it will be reducing their skills as well and that's why she's so good for the Iron Twins. I did post a video last week featuring a full build team with three Pain Keepers, or at least the theory behind it and how you can use it and, and make a fully unkillable team for the Iron Twins and make it a very trivial encounter if you do happen to have three of them. So that's what I'll be looking for. And the good thing is you don't even need to max them out. All right. For this, for this specific uh, Iron Twin setup, though, you just need their skills. Masteries are just going to help for damage. And, and that's the note for my rares. As we go up, you'll see my other dupes that I have is Husk. I wouldn't say you need Husk for anything other than the maybe Faction Wars 21 to make the runs easier. But you're going to need them for the, the Hydra. So might as well start um, going for them. I find Husks now even better than Royal Guards because of the Provoke that they have on their A1 skill. The recent change to the Hydra makes the A1 skill, the Provoke, so much more important than the sheer damage or the debuffs that the Royal Guard can apply. So having a consistent, uh, or at least a chance for Provoke, not a consistent Provoke, and a big AoE nuke, 
that can help you recover your champions when one is uh, devoured by the Hydra. Before, before it's, it's been taken away, you can actually do a lot of damage with this skill. And it really helps when the affinities are bad for the Royal Guard. And that's why you have a Husk and Royal Guard in teams of the Hydra, which helps mitigate a little bit of the RNG with the weak hits and everything. Then we go to my next, next best one that I have three copies of. And I would say three copies are not unreasonable, so keep them around, okay? When you get Geomancers, keep them around max them out you will not regret their a3 skill you can use two of them for the hydra and one specifically built for the iron twins if you don't want to do that two of them will be great for the hydra if you just have the one you can actually make him like a jack of all trades and use him everywhere he's so good he's even good for the spider dungeon he's good for most of the dungeons i would say maybe not so much for fire knight because that's really makes for a a longer kind of fight but still useful because of the termiter manipulation that he has with his a3 skill not so much for everything else he doesn't have a multi-hit or anything he's a god for the clan boss so you can build one for clan boss specifically and then one for hydra then maybe one for the iron twins honestly it just makes it better and better the more copies you have then we have uh Maniter, and that's where I'm going to make a little bit of a break here and say that all, pretty much all unkillable or block damage comps can use a copy of that champion to make a team. All right. You can make a team with a single Maniter, and that is called the budget unkillable uh, Maniter, Maniter unkillable. And that was the first time I featured that in a video, it was like two years ago. And now you can make teams with, with two of them, with Bad Eater. And pretty much you can make teams with any other unkillable champion. You can have two of them to make it easier to build with less speed, comparing it to let's say the battery deck comps where you need 200 and uh, you know 246 on the slower one, 265 plus on the the faster one. So kind of high requirements to get speed plus damage on a single champion. So have that in mind. Manitor is a good example of that. You need two copies of. I do have two, two copies of maxed out. I did not regret it and it's definitely worth it okay again if you had the mytha there's double the mytha teams but there's single the mytha teams as well um helicath is another example but that's a legendary much more expensive to fully book out two of them you can build a team with one of them i'm just giving it as an example that there's teams out there that you can build uh, for unkillable champions that will be utilizing two of them so have that in mind don't immediately go and sacrifice your second copy for a book or empowerment or whatever for the legendaries especially All right um i will note here for the seers do not worry about keeping a seer a second seer i've been playing this game for three years seer has not changed much she did she did have a change about two years ago uh, they changed a little bit on how seer worked with karma burn i believe it used to be so good it was like a brokenly overpowered anyway and it doesn't make sense to build a second one there's not that many teams out there that feature two of them because of how one eliminates the other's usefulness by just destroying all the debuffs from your teams and the enemy's teams and, and doing that damage and then the others here what is she gonna do you kind of have to find a rotation for that it doesn't really m make much sense to have a second seer uh, maxed out i did try it only on the test server though because i was like i'm not gonna spend all the resources for for building a second tier in my main account okay uh next one is gonna be allure allure fantastic champion to have two of very good for the dark fray to have two copies of you can use one of them very built specifically for let's say dark fray team uh use one of them and then the other one can be used for something let's say like the the fire knight boss which i do have built here 276 speed is is much different than my um my other my other allure which is more heavily geared but less speed so you can have that in mind you can use both of them for the dark fate teams and for a more consistent termiter manipulation if you are very scared of the boss taking a turn banishing one of your champions and killing you she's not so much used anywhere else like the two copies of together um you can use them for the scarabos as an example I, I wouldn't say anywhere else really other than the scarabos dark fate fire knight um i can't see using a, a second allure anywhere else and then um 
Stick here, I do have two copies of, but again, that's for PvP. That's why I'm skipping it in, in case you saw the second copy of. And then uh, I did cover the Royal Guard. And then I guess we go on to the Legendaries. If I check on my list, I'm pretty much that's it for for all the um for all these different champions um i think some of the rares i would say you can use two copies of but specifically you don't need to have them maxed out and i'll give an example of renegade i do have two copies of one is for where it used to be for the spider which was level 40 and one is a level 60 for the fire knight team so if you want you can use the just the one for your fire knight team and then um, build your team accordingly for the spider but it's very easy uh, to just have one less uh, at a lower level and then other champions such as uh, paragon i would say well you could use one for the iron twins but that's going to get nerfed very soon so really not not so much worth the effort to get a paragon to level 60 just for that and then have another one for let's say the spider where he's going to be lower level so he gets all the aggro from the small spiders then going on to the legendaries, not so many legendaries need a second copy if you're not building something very specific for arena. And I would say like Krisk is an obviously overpowered example that I do have. Uh, Krisk is so good that you need two copies of for the Hydra, one for the more difficult one, one for the less difficult one. That's how I've built them. Um, if you have a second CP, you can definitely use her. Do not immediately go to empower her. Second Rotos does work too for the um for the arenas mostly but you can use two rotos for stuff like um farming the griffin boss much quicker and then we have other champions such as battle kazar i did feature two of them in a video the other day just to showcase on what they could do together they can help each other out with the healing and everything it it works very well and it's definitely a solid option to have uh two battle kazars maxed out and that's what i did then we have the two trundas these are not just built for the arenas which is helpful but this is not what I was going for. I, I did warn you guys at the beginning that you don't need two of them. But two of them will be helpful for the Hydra. You can make a very, very solid team for the Hard Hydra. If you have the power for that, if you've got a good set of Savage, one Trunda can be very, very strong. The other Trunda can be a little bit weaker, but they can drop the heads on their own and do some big bursts of damage and finish the Hard Hydra boss in literally two minutes or so so have that in mind don't immediately go to empower one like i have three copies of uh of trenda and i still haven't empowered my one trenda because who knows i might need the third one built out so um, i'm still thinking about it but that that's in terms of uh, uh of trenda definitely worthy the the dupe of the same thing goes for duchess little too as any other champion that you want to be building for the hydra if you want to have like a copy paste team one for brutal and one for nightmare keep the same champions it honestly makes sense that's why i mentioned chris that's why i mentioned um duchess honestly they can be used in a copy paste team just because of the limitation of you cannot use the same champion for the hydra other champions such as Prince Karmar are also good examples where you can use one to be fast enough for the arena and then one to be slow for um, for something very specific such as the spider dungeon. But for me specifically, I don't have two of them. So I just have my one fast one and I use him in the dungeon specifically. And then I have my Yumiko, which works the same way for, um, for how everything else runs. Okay. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Again, it, it really depends on if you're focusing for the arenas, if you want to make copies of anything else. That's why it's mostly that part is mostly kept for legendary champions where you want to be utilizing their strong kits. Let's say uh, Venus Cupidus combo. Now it's, it's really good for the arenas. You want to be maybe building two comp comps of that. Uh, and that goes for all champions that might be considered for the arenas. That's why I... I will not go into depth about that. Other champions like that I had copies of and I thought I don't need them is obviously the ones that I just sacrificed, my Ghostborn and Marae. You don't need two of them. It doesn't change much. So that's why I empowered them. I, I should have waited to do a plus four, but I couldn't. And then you'll see my reserve vault with all the, these champions that are just waiting there because they have no use 
being maxed out. Unfortunately, that's how the game works. Um, and if you don't have something very specific in mind for, let's say, the arenas, you don't really build these out. You just wait. You might find a use in the future. You might empower them. For me, I'm just waiting. I see no real reason to just waste all my vault uh, legendaries as I might need them for, let's say, something new in the future. Or let's say we get some um, new token legendaries where we trade in our dupes and get those legendaries. So this was the video, guys. I hope it helped you out. Which champions you think I skipped through and missed out on and uh, just saying they you need the copies of let me know down below in the comment section of this video thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya